Welcome back, everybody. We are hunting on Reventuli Coast today, back in the Hunter Call of the Wild. And just kind of looking for whatever trophies we can find. Um, I am starting out, I'm just going to go to a lake that is... I'm, I'm cutting through a bunch of area I haven't searched. Kind of checking for uh, Capercales or other, other upland birds that I haven't been able to find diamonds or rares of yet. So maybe I'll get lucky and find something. After that, um, we might look for just kind of some of the big game animals, check some drink times, moose, whitetail, probably even some brown bear. So uh, hopefully we can find some good stuff, and I suppose I'll just see you when we do. Well, there is a cow moose running through the woods there that I'm likely not going to be able to get a shot at. At least if I can spot it again. I might be able to right there. I'm going to be ready to switch to the 300. If she decides to walk through there, she is. Switch to the 300 quick. Don't know how that hit her, but it is just a cow moose. It's not a not a bull moose, so I'm not too worried about getting the full metal score. Um, is that the one that she was with? I don't know. Did I hit her? Let's see what the map says. Not yet. So I don't know if I hit her good, I don't know what's going on, but we'll have to go over there and see. Um, and see if we can find her. She is alerted right there. Can I sneak it between the trees? I doubt it. Holy crap, I snuck it between the trees. I don't know if that even hit her good, though. I mean, she's going down. That was uh, quite a narrow gap. I honestly didn't think... Uh, I thought the hitbox would not let me do that, but she's down. So, uh, let's go get her. Let's go check her out. Alright, here she is. We have ourselves a piebald cow moose. And, can't put the brush down, of course. Really cool looking. Honestly, they're one of my favorite piebalds. I just think they make it look really good. Um, something I also noticed before we continue is Way of the Hunter auto run is F. And F is also zeroing for me in my game, so I'm finding that I'm messing up my zeroing quite a bit as because uh, I keep putting F and not realizing I just changed my zeroing. So I'm wondering where my first shot hit. And the first shot was flesh, yes, it was low. So that's what I expected. I aimed perfect, but I aimed like right here. But I was also used, it was 300 meters and I was zeroed for 75 because I kept hitting F. So that's a bummer. Not that it really matters. And then I did get a lung shot, but there we have a piebald moose, and uh, I'm not going to tax it. I am going to take a screenshot, though, and uh, yeah, and we'll keep hunting. There is a moose right here that actually has a chance at being a diamond. It's a small chance, and I don't think he'll make it, but we might as well get a shot into him anyway. And that should be a good hit. Oh yeah, he's going down. We'll go ahead and grab him and see. Maybe we have ourselves a diamond moose, a level four. All right, coming up on our moose over here. And definitely seeing that other side, he's certainly not a diamond. But let's see what he made. Actually, it, uh, he could have, with big brow tines, he probably could have. But 253 or 52, not a bad gold moose at all. Snuck that in there. And yeah, quite a nice looking animal. So, I'm, it's looking like this video is going to be a lot about moose so far. I'm trying to find some kind of birds to shoot. So, like, I found birds, obviously, but like, something good. And I've just been walking around and walk around, take your decoys of whatever you're basically searching for, and just plop them down in random spots, just a little ways from outposts. It's not perfect, but it'll help you kind of scout out areas you can see if there's... It'll spawn flocks. Or, I guess, I don't know if it spawns them, but fl flocks will appear. And you can check and see if there's diamonds and stuff. You can kind of just bounce around your map and do that. And uh, if you find something, a rare or a diamond, then you can either shoot it then or come back and set up fully. Um, and, you know, go from there. I have five Tundra Bean Geese decoys. And I'm just kind of running around and setting them up and checking. So far, I don't have anything spawning here. But, uh, usually something will spawn. Well, as you can see, there is a, another piebald moose. It's a level 3, so nothing super special, but... 
He's about 300 meters out there right now. Um, so we might just get ready to take a shot from here. That is not the correct gun. That would be the um, 22. It would be a bad thing. But we'll just wait until he picks his head up. Boy, they are just gorgeous. I love the piebald moose. All right, let's go for that frontal shot. Oh, and we dropped him. Must have hit the lungs. All right. Let's, uh, let's go take a closer look at him, but that was a nice little bonus. Um, the two piebald moose so far, a cow and a bull. Probably gonna have to reset the time here fairly soon, or maybe I'll look for brown bear, not really sure. Um, but I imagine pretty quick here we might just head back to the lodge now that we have something to go there for. Oh, or he should be laying... Ah, there he is. That is... Very cool, and I'm glad we dropped them too, because, let's see, can I knock this foliage down? I can. I am definitely going to want to get a picture with my dog with this. This is really cool. I'm thinking maybe that direction. But before I do that, I might want to make sure there's nothing else that I would want to get. Tufted ducks? I don't see anything outright... Uh, Outright alarming that I would need to get ready to shoot, so I'm thinking... Wait, was that a bear? No, I thought I saw a bear. Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and get that picture, and then uh, harvest this moose, take a look closer look at him, and then we're going to go look for something else. That looks pretty cool right there. The red demon eye there, though, that's not exactly cool. Um, how do I go prone again in this game? That would be it. Is that cool? Not really. But anyway, we got ourselves a piebald moose, and uh, if I can remember how to play this game, uh, we're going to go ahead and pick him up. We're level 3, he's just a silver. Uh, not even really close. We did heart shoot him at 300 meters almost on the dot. Yeah, he's not very big, but he is even, which is nice. I absolutely love that pattern. So I'm going to tax him for sure, and we'll continue looking around for something else. Um, but at least we now have something to go in the lodge. Well, I am getting to a point where I have searched quite a bit, and I'm ready to wrap up the hunt for the day. But that white tail over there does have a chance at being a diamond. I don't imagine he is. But we'll put him down anyway, and might as well go ahead and put one into him. I'm thinking that was a long shot, but I'm not 100% sure. Yep, that was. And, eh, maybe we'll just leave it at that. Let's go pick up our potential Diamond Whitetail and uh, see if we can be lucky enough to have him be one. All right, we are by our, uh, our buck we just shot. And actually, this guy's not, he's not a potential Diamond or anything, but it is a good sized Whitetail we might as well take down. And we'll go grab him on the way, or not on the way, but after. And we're going to go ahead and pick this guy up and see what we got. And he is not a diamond. 217, so not even actually close to a diamond. But uh, nonetheless, a nice gold whitetail. And then we have that other one down. I'm trying to see... There's a Capricale. I am surprised I haven't been able to find a diamond of those because they are fairly common and I have shot quite a number of uh, male Capricale, so hopefully my luck turns around on that end. But let's go get, there was another buck I dropped here and then there was, um, there's that other guy I just shot. And this guy right here is a silver and let's go see what that other guy is. And our whitetail to wrap up the hunt is going to be a 210 scoring gold whitetail. Looks pretty similar to that one we just shot. Yeah, actually similar shot. But with that, I think we're going to wrap this up and head back to the trophy lodge to put up our new uh, piebald moose. All right, we are back in the lodge now. I haven't been in this lodge in a little bit. Uh, it's been mostly the grinding lodge. Is it a whitetail diamond? Is that a white tail diamond? Oh yeah, that's probably the Reventuli one. Actually, I am unsure now. What is this guy? Yeah, I think that's the Reventuli one. Anyway, um, we're back in the lodge, and I put our new piebald bull moose over here next to the Great One Wealthy Mount. 
And, uh, yeah, I kind of like it with the pose. He's just kind of, like, starting to look to the side there. And, uh, I don't know. The piebald moose look fantastic. I know I already said it, but they are probably my favorite piebald. And, uh, quite possibly, mm, I don't know if I'd say my favorite rare in the game, but it's definitely, I'd say, top five favorite rares in the game. And, uh, yeah, I'm glad we got one. I actually like the antlers a lot. I know they're small, but they just, they're very symmetric, and I just think it looks really nice. I'm very happy with that. And we got that Kalamoose, too, so two piebalds in one day. Um, no new species to add to the lodge from Reventuli. Hopefully, in the future, we get a little lucky there, because uh, we've got a long way to go. But, uh, yeah, otherwise, other, as far as the updates go, for myself, I mean, um, I, uh, I'm working on getting a, some better audio at the moment. Um, and then I think in the future we'll start looking at uh, better PC, better monitor, that kind of stuff. But starting with some audio. So hopefully that'll be improving soon. Otherwise, I hope you guys are enjoying the videos, and I will see you in the next one.